My son Austin and I are here today to do an inspection. We had a client reach out to us and she's having a problem with water ingress in her basement when it rains hard. So we're here at this tiny cottage today <laughs> to do an inspection and kind of try to figure out what's going on here. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is what happens. And that's happening right here. You can see they've got all the drywall removed, all the flooring removed. So now we get to go outside and we're gonna figure out what's going on here. I think I found one of the first problems right here. Check this out. Now I know times are hard, but I came in the bathroom right now into much softer toilet paper and I'm not looking forward to that. Gosh, I hope I don't get splinters. All right, we come in here we do see three sump crocks. Actually, this over here is a crock with a grinder pump, a uh, macerating pump, whatever you want to call those. That's for the bathroom. And you'll see this one is full of water. You will notice there's no sump pump in there. You come over here, this one is not full of water. But we do have, right here, we've got the corrugated pipe coming in. This is the connector over to this one. But you'll notice this is not full of water. Now, we have had recent rain. So we're going to go outside and we're going to check into this, but I'm going to explain this about French drains and we're going to explain some other stuff as we go. One thing I'll point out real quick, this isn't ideal. You'll notice that this sump crock is dry, that one has water in it. This is coming from a condensate drain that comes from the HVAC equipment. This is filling up with water and that water is seeping over through that cross drain into that ejector pump. Now that is connected here to this bathroom and there's a toilet in there. So when this fills up, a pump kicks on and it pumps the water past the check valve up through this pipe and that pipe runs over to here and then that pipe runs over to here into this drain which then comes right over here into the septic or sewer system which means all of that water whether it's coming from the exterior of the home coming from the condensate drain all this water is being pumped into their sewer or septic system now because this can potentially be rainwater that is actually not appropriate to be pumping that into your septic or your sewer. So those actually should be isolated systems and any rainwater, exterior water, or condensate should actually be get pumped to outside. Now condensate can get pumped to the septic or the sewer, but you don't want rainwater, stormwater, anything like that, snow melt off. You don't want that going into your septic or your sewer system. But I'm just here for a foundation kind of water thing, but you guys know me, I'm looking around. I can't unsee things. Got this lolly column and I'm looking up and all right first of all we're just gonna say they didn't stick the landing on that one but then we're gonna say why is this glue lamb just ending off into nothingness here and picking right back up over there without a support column or post there that's a big bunch of nope the things we routinely see in these little cabins are these really cool arcade games and another thing we see quite often in these little cabins are basketball courts. This is shaping up to be kind of an interesting one. So there is a French drain or perimeter drain system here in this house. And they suspect that it drains out here into this forest here. And like I always say, just pitch it out into your neighbor's yard. You know, just get the water over there. And be a good neighbor, get a leaf blower, blow your leaves over there, whatever you got to do. It's what neighbors do. Don't worry, they're going to pitch it to the next neighbor, and it's just like an adult game of hot potato. I'm talking with the client right now. She doesn't want to be on camera. But um, I said, you just bought the house two years ago. Did you do a home inspection? And she said, yes, we did. Good job. Yep. But was there any mention in your report of poor grade or negative grade or drainage issues? None. Absolutely none. None at all? None at all. All right. Let me show you what we found here, guys. So I love this one because this is where I get to really rip on all of my grievances with subsurface drain systems. So buckle up, because I'm about to get animated. So right over here is that basement area, because this over here is where the basketball courts are. And right there is the problem area. There's kind of this whole little you know, alley back here, and I'm gonna show this. So I pulled up in the driveway before I even made contact with the client. The first thing that I noticed, and my son Austin noticed was, this landscaped area here is a center hump. It like all is raised up right here. And that really sucks because literally everything flows down towards the house. 
I was walking over here and I was trying to evaluate what was going on so I could see a whole bunch of cause you know causation factors what do we see right here a bunch of water just running right down this wall and what do we have right below that literally right below that is this window well now to make matters worse you couldn't pick a worse spot for a hose bib and they put that beloved drain rock that i love so much right here now why don't i love this because rock water trickles through it you're promoting water to go down into the ground now if you think about like a leach field for a septic system when water goes into the ground it spreads out and it spreads out and guess where it goes right underneath that window well toward the foundation and the slab joint where it meets the foundation wall is open so water comes up right through there now i look over here not to mention all that moisture is causing deterioration here of the masonry then you come over here, nice job. They got a window well cover on this one, but let's just say water is definitely gonna find a way into that. And if I come over here, you will see there's another window well that's open and the ground is a big slope down to it. So it slopes down here, it slopes down here, it runs off of there. Now guess what else we have up here? A big gutter up here that is dumping right onto the roof right there. So now they're taking all that water and running it right down this wall. Now, why is it running down that wall? Because there's no kick out or diverter flashing right there at the sidewall. Yep, you guessed it, this gets worse. If this is your problem area and everything is sloping and water really has, water has no way out of this alley back here, we're gonna look right up here at the valley and what don't we see? We don't see a splash guard at those gutters. So when water runs down that valley, it actually, especially in a hard rain, which is when she's saying there's a problem, water gets velocity, it gets speed, and it will shoot right over the top of that gutter and land right down here on the ground and then flow toward the house and into the basement and cause problems. All right, but the builders are always gonna say, nah, you don't need good grade. We have a French drain system, which they do have. Here's the problem. All right, let's have a little sidebar. If you have a surface water problem, the best place to solve that problem is on the surface. If you have proper grade and water can run away from your house, you don't have to shove it underground and run it through a long pipe and manage where it goes. Because here's what I suspect is happening. He's trolling me around here I pointed my camera right down here and you can see that the ground right there slopes toward the foundation if you look right down here you're gonna see this white chalky substance running down this wall and when you see that that's a sign of chronic water running along that foundation and that is one of the little warning signs that you got a drainage problem but now let me show you why I don't like French drains. As we came over here, there are some drains coming out here somewhere. And nowhere over here do they daylight. So I took a shovel and I started looking at the most likely places that they would be, like these circles that are in the ground. Somewhere over here, there are apparently some daylights for the uh, French drain system. And because I can't see them, I'm going to assume that they're buried and covered. And we did try digging, but because they insist on putting the drain system underground, she now has a much bigger problem. So when she told me that they're having these problems with the water coming in when it rains hard and only when it rains hard, that told me that whatever their drainage system was, was clogging. This is where the French drains would probably drain out. I'm noticing there's some weird concrete here. But again, right there, I'm seeing this circular patch. What do you have to say about that, son? That's a big bunch of nope. Further illustrate that, this is why I always say, if you have surface water from the exterior coming into your basement, the best solution is never to trap it in the basement in some sort of perimeter drain system and then pump it back outside. Water will do damage going through your foundation, going into your basement. And if you don't believe me, the water can cause that kind of damage, just ask the Grand Canyon on this whole thing is is that this is actually kind of a multifaceted problem yes they've got a grade and drainage problem they have a 
roof drainage system that needs improvement. Overall, she's got a problem that's very solvable, and that's good news.